Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good golly, Miss Molly. Welcome to this little short video where I'm going to show off uh, an exciting purchase that I got yesterday at an absolute bargain price, I have to say, um, because these deluxe sets are very expensive, so I can only get them now and again. But this is what I picked up yesterday. A little bit difficult to see, I know, with the, uh, the glare, but this is the Rush Permanent Waves 40th Anniversary Deluxe Box Set. Now look at this absolute beauty. And I've left the, <laughs> I've left the um, plastic on for now, but as you can see, this is a thing of beauty, and I picked it up for an absolute steal. It's been out for two or three years, maybe about three or four years, in fact. Um, three years at least. Um, so very excited to see it on sale at a recent store, uh, a record store near me. I'll say near in the city, not that near. Um, and I couldn't wait. I had to get it. So now Permanent Waves is a magnificent Rush album. Um, it's... Not the first Rush album I got into, but it's the first one that I was able to purchase with my own cash, as opposed to just borrowing or recording in, on cassette. So um, so it's an exciting landmark album for me. I'm a huge Rush fan. And, it, and it's the tour that I first saw them on. I was still in the UK then. Saw them at Stafford Bingley Hall in 1980. So extremely important album to me. Um, I love the, the uh, I'll be keeping the sticker, of course, which uh, does describe everything that's in here. So uh, it contains, so it's 40th anniversary, limited edition, super deluxe, three, two CDs, three LPs, 180 gram audio file vinyl, 2015, 2015 album remaster on CD for the first time. It's got 12 unreleased, Permanent Waves World Tour 1980 live performances, 40 page hardcover book, um, and a bunch of bonus items, which we'll take a quick look at. So, very excited about this. So, let's start getting everything out of here. <laughs> I love these. I have a few, a few of these box sets, mainly a lot of stuff by the Beatles and McCartney. So let's see. First of all, this is all the, the vinyl. And, and it's this cover they're using, um, which is interesting. Start taking some stuff out. So first of all, the actual album with the original cover on the vinyl. Just what a band. What a magnificent man. Get that the right way around for you. There you go. How could three guys make so much noise? Oh, bless. Lyric sheet. And what a great album this is. I mean, every track is an absolute classic stone cold classic spirit of radio which became a big hit at the time in the uk like number three in the charts not often you got prog rock bands hard rock bands having hit singles like that free will which is one of neil pert's greatest lyrics um entree new just magnificent stuff um Let's take a look at the vinyl itself. It's just this beautiful 180 gram vinyl. Great center piece. Yeah. We'll be getting that on the record player very shortly. So what else is in this? Uh, Package. Let's make sure we get that back in there correctly. Put that over there. So also inside here is the extras. So we'll look at that. 
with the uh, the graphing paper showing um, levels. So it opens up to a gatefold, which you won't be able to, I won't be able to show it in its entirety, but look at that. That's what I saw in 1980. Oh my God, that was some gig. Stafford Bingley Hall. M amazing live band. Saw them again a few years later. Uh, wish I'd seen them more. So this is the stuff from the Permanent Waves World Tour 1980. Previous unreleased bonus live content. Um, Manchester, England, London, England, mainly. There's one from Missouri, none from Stafford Bingley Hall, unfortunately, which was the gig I was at. So mixture of stuff from Permanent Waves and older stuff. Can't wait to get that on as well. So that was what was inside the vinyl sleeve within this deluxe set. See if I can put these away without damaging anything. There we go. So that was one set of stuff. Now pulling out the next bit. I've left this plastic on for now, as I said, but uh, and in fact, I may leave it on for as long as so, so I always keep the label, though, the little yellow labels. I always keep these and stick them inside the package, even if I cut them off, take the plastic off. So this is the, uh, I love how Dewey defeats Truman, Chicago Daily Truman, famous headline, which didn't turn out to be true, of course. Um, look at this beautiful set. So this is the book, the book, the buke, the buke. And this is beautiful. And that's what I love about these deluxe sets. I've got, as I say, I've got a few here and there from different acts, a lot of Beatles ones. And they they really do make a, do a great job of these with the colour photographs, the recollections of the tours. Look at that. God, that's amazing. Love that twin-necked Rickenbacker. <laughs> Still wearing the robes at this point. <laughs> so lots of stuff I'm looking forward to reading. Um, Hammersmith Odeon, not a venue that I've been to many times. I just haven't seen Rush there. Um, great picture. Five nights at the Hammersmith Odeon. I'll go back to that. I've seen a few bands there. ZZ Top. Craftwork, I think it's all there. Um, bunch of others, but all the lyrics are laid out in, uh, in various pages here. Uh, in memoriam to Neil Pert, husband, father, son, friend, brother. Yeah, I was stunned, shocked when I heard that news. So, it mentions in the tour, tour listing here New Bling, Bingley Hall, Stafford. 1701.80. So that was an amazing gig. Stafford Bingley all. Original album credits. And then the CD versions of uh, Permanent Waves and then the bonus material. Two CDs. Look at that beautiful book. Book. <laughs> book. 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 Right, the bonus materials. We have this great package. I'll put that over here. Um, in a folder, which I'll need to be careful I don't rip. Let's see what we've got in here. Well, first of all, <laughs> Neil Part 1980 Tour Pass Simulated Tour Pass Access All Areas. <laughs> Uh, little pad, Le Studio. Rebuild Le Studio .com. I'm assuming that's the uh, refers to where their album was recorded in Quebec, but I may be wrong. I'm no, this is the thing. I'm not, I, I love the music. I love everything like that. I don't always remember all the <laughs> intricate details, which is why I usually spend hours rereading the uh, sleeves, the album sleeves. 
Well, more passes we get. Um, <laughs> KD in all his glory. Look at that here. And Alex. Nice. Okay, we have some lyrics or a facsimile on card of the Spirit of Radio lyrics. Really uh, nicely written out. All this machinery making modern music. Still, the lyrics of this are still so spot on. I mean, Neil and Rush were all about artistic freedom and that spirit that comes with it. Very relevant message in the, an era where everything's processed and record company control is greater than ever, it seems, of, of that product that's getting put out. And then Entree New as well. We are strangers to each other. Yeah. Great lyrics. Neil Peart, one of the finest lyricists in rock and pop, popular music, indeed any music by that standard then. Now this is the, I actually had, I had a tour program years ago. Um, so this is more, um, I had the original tour program back in the day, and uh, that's one of the things that fell by the wayside over the decades on my moves. So this is Rush, The Words and the Pictures, Volume 2. I'm going to just open this first, actually. This is the... Uh, let's go back to this one. So this, this here is, um, again, it features some fantastic images has lyrics, photographs by Finn Costello. Tashes were still in fashion. So lots of great live photographs of the band. And backstage stuff. Really neat. And then these great, um, look at that. I mean, this is incredible stuff really great job they've done producing this and then the other rush deluxe sets i'm assuming are equally good i just wish i could afford to get them all so great picture of alex there in full flow then all the lyrics um which done in that uh, and it's it's also got lyrics of various other tracks here of course not just the permanent wave stuff Farewell to Kings, Bytor, Lakeside Park, Xanadu, what a band. There's nobody like them. Never has been and never will be a very unique band. Canadian, eh? My home, adopted home country. Couple more things left. Um, there was this in the album sized um, stories of the album by Neil in the tour and, then, and the photographs being taken uh, again he talking about his equipment that he uses on the album and live and the same with Alex to get that wonderful, wonderful sound. And Neil talking about his drums. Uh, yeah. And that back photograph is fantastic. View from behind Neil's drum kit. Possibly more of the Hammersmithodian. It could be Hammersmithodian. I don't know, but I'll have to check, but it could be. Um, and then some of the albums, which were a big part of my growing up uh, and listening to rock music 
and getting into rock and prog and heavy rock. Hemispheres, what an album. So, a beautiful booklet there. And then finally, a poster. Let me get this out of the way. Double sided. This is definitely going to go up in the wall though. So, on one side, I can't obviously show all of this very easily here, but you've got Let's go back here actually Got to be careful with these when you fold them That is going to go up in the wall That is the uh, some of the artwork the permanent waves cover, I know it's extremely hard to see. And on the other side, this is the three band members, but I think it'll be the other side that I put up on the wall. Some people would leave them in the set. I, I prefer to uh, actually use those posters, so that will get a nice spot on the wall somewhere. Um, maybe not behind here because it's full, but there's some more spaces in front of me. So, anyway, thank you for watching this. This is the unboxing of the Rush Permanent Waves 40th Anniversary Deluxe Edition. Can't wait to get into the uh, audio material of that um, and read all the booklets and stuff. Just what a set! Beautiful set. Uh, great. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this, leave a thumbs up and subs consider subscribing all that great stuff that they tell you to do on youtube so do it. if you feel like it i'd appreciate it thank you hope you enjoyed this there'll be i'll be back more with more content both rock oriented and other things soon uh, until then uh, have a great day uh, stay well and keep on rocking thank you mm -hmm.